Hi guys, welcome to Accounting Online. In this video, I'll show you how to record prepayment in Sage 50 accounts. Uh, so sometimes companies do make payments in advance. It may be for advance insurance or it may be for advance rent. For But for this particular video, I'm using advance rent example. So this is what I, I have here. Uh, so this is uh, real life example which i have drafted into a question format for this video so there are two companies tom hanks limited it it is our client we are doing bookkeeping for tom hanks limited and it's paying uh, rent in advance to dh services limited the rent is due on 1st of april uh, 2018 four quarter ending on 30th of june so rent becomes due uh, in the start of every quarter which is here 1st of April. The invoice number is 313 dated 29th of March 2018 and the amount is 9000 uh, pound was received on 2nd of April 2018. The rent was actually paid on 5th of April by a bank transfer. So this is when Tom Hanks Limited actually uh, made a payment to uh, DH Services Limited. So there are two dates important for us. Ignore this one. Um, so one is 29th of March which is the invoice date and the other one is the payment date which is 1st of April 2018 so there is one point which I would like to discuss here uh, you know the accrual basis companies accounts needs to be done on accrual basis when you're doing the bookkeeping you need to use the invoice date rather than the when you actually receive cash or when you actually make a payment so for here uh, because we are following accrual basis so uh, for us invoice date is important which is 29th of March 2018 so what I have done here I have done a couple of double entries here uh, so the first entry is going to be debit advance rent and credit credit creditors control account which is DH services limited <clears throat> sorry uh, and how to do these double entries in sage so what I'm gonna do is I have my sage here so I have already created the H services uh, limited as a supplier so now I'm going to post invoice so I'm gonna select the supplier and I'm going to batch invoice okay here so DH services limited and the date is 29th of March 2018 and reference is which is the invoice number 313 and nominal code so nominal code which I'm going to use here it you can see it here which is double one zero three when I put double one zero three here double one zero three so it comes to prepayments yep so because this is what we are paying in advance for three months so for April May and June and in, in details always put something in detail so like when I read the description I actually know okay this is what I have paid for so advance rent so advance rent quarter ending 30th of June 2018 yeah and amount is going to be 9000 I'm not considering any VAT in it yep so leaving the VAT out so this is our uh, net payment which the uh, which Tom Hanks limited has made to uh, DH services limited I'm gonna save it so when I save it you will see the balance here which of course Tom Hanks limited paid on 5th of April 2018 but if I take take you to the nominal codes and if I go to current assets uh, and then debtors so see this is what I see here prepayments if you want to rename the nominal code you can always do it just double click and here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the advance rent and I'm gonna save this one and close this one so if I go back so I will see advance rent here <clears throat> now what happens here uh, so this advance rent stays there 
until 30th of April. So we have used the facility. So Tom Hanks Limited has used the office facility for one month. So now what we need to do is we need to amortize the advance rent. Amortization means expensing out the advance rent. But for that particular month, so how much Tom Hanks Limited paid to um, DH Service Limited? So that is 9,000 for three months. So that is going to be three 3,000 for one month. So let's say now the date is 30, 30th of April uh, 2018. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a journal. So I'm going to go to journal entry here under nominal codes and here. And then I'm going to do it here. Rent for April 2018. And this is going to be the last date of each month, which is 30th of April 2018. And here I'm going to let me show you double entry so i'm going to debit the rent expense which is profit and loss account and then i'm going to credit the advance rent so our rent expense increases rent account rent expense account increases and our advance rent account decreases okay so what i'm going to do here is 7100 and you can always uh, customize this window. So what I'm going to do here, X reference, and I don't need any department, but of course I need details. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this one and I will just paste it here. So tax code is going to be T9 because this is not a VAT uh, transaction. This is only the internal adjustment. These, these are the uh, journal entries at the month end. At the for, for, for closing the month, so this one is 3000 and which is debit, and then double one zero three, which is advanced rent. Same, I'm going to copy paste this one here, and this one is going to be 3000. <clears throat> so, what happens here is I'm going to save this one to so see what happens now. So, uh, if when I first I'll go to advanced rent. So advanced rent is now 6,000 because 3,000 we have expense out. We have amortized advanced rent. And if I go to overheads and under advanced rent. So this, this is uh, under rent expense account, 3,000. Uh, and if I go to profit and loss, let me just show you here. Just taking some time okay what happens here let me just minimize this one so the date is let's say I'm gonna put, put, put the whole date or you can just customize a date from here so this is gonna be June okay so 3000 it shows in the profit and loss account so it will reduce your profit because you have allocated the right amount to that particular month which is april uh, 2018 okay so now this one is here and now we have date which is 31st of may 2018 so now we're gonna post the same journal so i'm gonna go to the journal entry again and i'm gonna do the uh, write the description rent for may 5 2018 this is going to be 31st of may 2018 and the same entry 7100 let me just copy this one and then i can just post paste it here and this is going to be 3000 and this is one going to be 1103 and paste it here and 3000 okay so rather than you know um posting the same entry whenever you come here and post the uh entry for advanced rent so rather than you know just filling in the fields all the time you can all you can also memorize this journal so you can just click on memorize here file name is going to be um, rent journal you can only put these many okay rent journal here and you can just save it okay and once you've done just make sure that you have debiting the rent expense and crediting the advanced rent and just click on save and now what happens here is when i go back to my 
current assets and then debtors so rent expense advance rent is 3000 and expense rent expense is um, 6000 and if i show you profit and loss again um, so here and i need to put the date i'm going to put the date for may so from may to may and press ok so 3000 rent is being has been allocated to uh, to the month of may okay i'm going to close this one and now we have date which is 30th of june 2018 so the same thing i'm going to go to journal entry but this time rather than posting the whole thing i'm going to click on recall and look for my journal which which shows here so select this one and load and see so everything is already filled in so what you need to do is just make sure you change the june here and this is going to be this is going to be um, 30th of june 2018 and that's it once you've done it, make sure a text code or T9, as I explained you earlier, this is not the VAT transaction. This is only the internal adjustments at the month end. So once you've done it, you just need to click on save and it closes this one. Once you have done this entry, so there should be a zero balance in advanced rent account under current assets. So uh, it's quite clear from here. So what I'm going to do here is, and you can see it here. So advanced rent is zero. If you want to see the um, <clears throat> activity, you need to double click and just click on activity. So you will see it here. So this is the invoice date when we posted the uh, invoice. And this is what we have done three journal entries at the month end. If you click on this one, you will be able to see the journal entry you posted. Okay, so this one is for April and that's it so this is what you need to do uh, to do the prepayments in sage 50 accounts uh, so there is one question you know so if you are thinking that why did we not post the whole amount uh, which is 9000 uh, sterling in the month of april so what happens here if you if you're not using the accrual accounting and if you're using the cash accounting so you're gonna go you're gonna you're gonna allocate the whole of the expense which is nine thousand dollars in the month of april so what happens here uh, what happens in the month of april your profit figure is going to be understated significantly because that nine thousand did not belong to doesn't belong to april only the da was the that was the payment for three months so that was for april may and june so this is this is a small amount but if your company is making uh, a big amount let's say fifty thousand dollars for th for a quarter and if you post the allocate the whole of the amount in one month let's say in april so your april profit is going to be understated significantly so when you do the management accounts your direct your manager or the director may be asking you some questions why this one is happening Okay, so this is how you do the prepayment in Sage 50 accounts. There is always there is also an option uh, which is a built-in option in Sage 50 accounts, which which you can see it here. I'm gonna explain this one in my uh, later video, but um, rather than using this option, I have always tried to do in in a manual way. So this is how you do the record the prepayments uh, manually. So you first post the invoice and then you do the three journals. Okay, um, as far as the payment is concerned, you can do the supplier payment. It doesn't really matter. So when you are going to post your bank statements uh, and you see the payment, so you just need to come here, go to supplier payment, use uh, DH Services Limited. And in this example, that was 5th of April 2018. And that's it. So just put the payment amount here. So, yeah. Yep, so that is $9,000. So once you've done it, just click on save. That's it. And if I go back to supplier, see this one is zero. If you want to see the ledger, so this activity thing is in fact a ledger. So ledger which shows the details for a particular uh, supplier or the customer. So this one is credit and this is when you actually made a payment. You can see the details here. <clears throat> I hope you like my video and if you got any question you can always ask me question you can see my um, 
email address in the description so i'm always ready to explain the thing and discuss the uh, if you don't understand anything we can always discuss thank you very much and if you um, like my video please do leave me do leave a comment and uh, like share and subscribe to my channel thank you